So Nels, we'll start with your goal. Just talk us through it. Yeah, first of the season. Yeah, I was I was buzzing to be fair because I didn't know um, if I scored or not. I, I knew I got a good contact on it. Obviously, I was already down on the floor before um, before before it's gone in the box uh, with, in the net, and I just seen the lads running over to me. So I was I was over the moon to get it. I just watched it back then and um, quite pleased with the edit, to be fair. Something you've really improved on in recent weeks is scoring from set pieces. Is that something that's been a priority in training at all? Yeah, we've been. I think I think I said it um, after the Brighton game. We had, we had 10, 11 corners, and we didn't really capitalise on it as much as we wanted. Um, but we've got so much height in, in the box, and we should be scoring more goals. To be fair, we have been working hard on it. Set pieces, defending set pieces. I thought the defending were brilliant again today. Uh, see you later, mate. See you, pal. Um, so yeah. It's, um, it's always nice to, come, to, to, to score from set piece and obviously with Ellis with a penalty as well. We've uh, spoken to Kenny about using the 3-4-3 formation. As a player, how is it playing in that new formation? I think we've still got to work on it. I think it's, it, we've got options. We've got uh, obviously the 4-3-2-1, we've got the 4-4-2 and obviously what we, we, we had in the second half today and uh, I thought Nico would be brilliant when he came on. Solid. We won, won a lot of headers, like really good headers which we needed to, to, uh, to win. Um, it got it got a whack in the face from uh, from Craig, but um, I think we said in, uh, after the game, I said like, welcome to English football. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think you got to adapt to different formations. You can't just play one formation all the time. We've got to, as professionals, we've got to work on different things. And, and um, I think it was good. I think it worked. Uh, I know that we, we invited pressure on them sometimes, um, invited them pressure onto us. But I think you should stand your ground. Good shape. Um, didn't score in the second half, which was a bonus. Yeah, and regardless of how you set up, it has tended to be yourself and Bryn Morris in midfield. How do you feel that benefits you two working off of each other? Yeah, I think we've played a lot, a lot of games this season and pre pre season. Um, we've we've got a good understanding now um, as as how we play. Um, but we've got quality on the bench. We've got Closey, we've got Andy Cannon who can play there after this turn on Tuesday night, which. Uh, obviously I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go, but uh, I've heard, I've heard the, 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 uh, that's really good. So we've got quality in there. We've got a great backup. Um, so you just got to keep your shirt. You just keep your shirt and keep working hard, and hopefully I can keep mine for the rest of the season. As a squad, it's three wins on the bounce. Do you feel like you're starting to hit your stride now after a potentially sticky start? Yeah, I think so. I think it's always happened. I think um, I think the big teams in the league, I think they've had a sticky start as well, not just us, uh, who expect to be up there flying at the start of the season. Um, but yeah, we've come over that now, hopefully. Uh, we've got three wins on the bounce, including the checker trade. Um, like I said, it's all about the league this season. We want to get promoted. We've, always, we've, had, we've, we've said that every year, but this, is, this, uh, this year we need to get promoted and... Um, like I said, not in the obviously within the checker trade still obviously they've got FA Cup but the league's priority and we need to um, we need to capitalise on on, on on all the games we've got coming up.